Hey guys, it's Sad, and today I have box number two of our 135 card PSA Pokemon card return. So if you've missed number one, I would suggest go watching that one first. Um, we got into a lot of uh, base cards. They were kind of out of order from when I submitted them a little bit, but um, we'll see how these do. Usually PSA is pretty good about putting them in order, but... I know they're kind of rushing through things lately, so that might be why they're doing that. But either way, here we go. This is card number one. Yeah, it looks like they're out of order again because there should still be some base cards. All right, so we have a PSA 7 holographic pincer. So I always thought this was like a, an, a smudge on the card, but they all have that, like kind of right under his armpit right there. But but yeah, anyway, that's um, that's just part of the card. But yeah, this one's got a lot of scratches on it. That's why it got a, a PSA 7. The back doesn't look too bad on the left side, but the right side kind of has a lot of white going on right there. But yeah, PSA 7 pincer. That's not really a heavy hitter. Let me bring this closer a little bit. Can reach it that's not really a super heavy hitter expensive card for jungle but now this one is this one is a psa 5 though when it's you know obviously a higher grade it's worth a whole lot more than these lower grades but this one is a no symbol uh holographic snorlax so right off the bat you can tell it got a psa 5 because of this bend right here i mean it's got some scratches but that's kind of like what we just saw in that psa 7 pincer but this one's got a crease right there and then maybe another smaller one right there I'm surprised this one even got a, a five well I guess it's not too surprising because the crease is not super big it goes down like half an inch and then another one right there if it you know if it goes down farther obviously it's a lower grade but it wasn't for that cre those two creases this would probably have gotten a seven because it looks a lot like that pincer as far as condition but that's a actually I have a friend of mine that actually already bought this off of me so that one's not even going to go on eBay and now we have PSA 6 Kangaskhan these grades are kind of rough so you can see obviously the scratch is pretty heavy on it not the prettiest card in the world, but the back's not terrible either. It's the hollow, it's the, um, yeah, the hollow scratches is what got it. But yeah, the back, the whitening on the back is not really bad. Okay, this one's, this one's better. PSA 7, Kangaskhan, holographic. This one's near mint, so you can tell right off the bat that the scratches are a lot better than the five. So that's a five on the left and then a seven on the right. The seven does have a big scratch right there, a few big scratches, but that one's the biggest. And then some light scratches after that. But the whitening doesn't look bad. That was just some cardboard dust. There's one on the card right there. I guess that's, I mean, I don't consider myself OCD, but those little white spots that are under the case kind of uh, gets on my nerves. Okay, so now we have PSA 8 Kangaskhan. So we're start, I think there's five Kangaskhans, if I remember correctly. But like I said before, this one is, this order is a really old order. If you, um, if you saw the bulk order I did, it was a 10 part series. Um, this, this bulk order I'm doing right now is actually, I actually submitted it before that bulk order. So that one got sent in later and then got done sooner. So PSA isn't really working on, you know, first in, first out, even though they say they do. All right. So Kangaskhan number four got a seven. I won't spend a super long time looking at it since we've already seen several Kangaskhans. And I think this one is one, yeah. So PSA 8, no nines. I would like a nine so I could keep it. But so far, 
no dice. That, that one's kind of heavy on the scratches for an eight, but the back, we'll see if the back makes up for it. It does everywhere except the top kind of has a lot of white spots, but I don't know. Seems like they're a little generous with that grade, but hey, I'm not going to complain. All right, so I think we're done with Kangaskins. Yes, we are. So PSA 7, Flareon. Very nice card. I like the different colors you have on it. So like you have the blue, the red, the green, um, a little bit of yellow maybe, representing Jolteon maybe, I don't know. The green for the Leafeon that hadn't been invented yet. A lot of blue for Vaporeon maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that's what they're doing. That's what it makes me think of, though. PSA 7, Flareon. All right, so now we have some base two cards. We have a PSA 8, base two Zapdos. So this hollow doesn't look bad, except for it's got some, well, I say some, but it looks like two, at least two pretty good print lines, especially that top one. The bottom one looks like it goes all the way across, but not very deep. This one right here is really deep, but nothing you can do about print lines, unfortunately. Oh, come on. Is that on the case? Or on the card? I think it's on the cards. Okay, I won't complain about PSA. It's on the card. Very nice card. So all of these will be going on my eBay store, except for that Snorlax. Like I said, someone, uh, my friend already bought it. So I'm not selling that. Well, I did sell it, but I'm not selling it on eBay. So far, no nines. I need, there's nothing I can keep because I only want to keep nines. But a PSA 7 base two nine tails. That holographic always gets me because it's different than the base set holographic. This one's the Cosmos hollow foil, and then the base set is a different hollow. Uh, they use the Galaxy hollow. Here, I'll lean them all the same way. Now we have a PSA 7 base set two Nido King. So Nido King, I really like him. He's not a really not an expensive card, but I just think, you know, he looks pretty tough. And, um, yeah, he just doesn't get a lot of love for some reason. For a tough looking Pokemon. Very nice. I don't think I showed the back on that one. Not too many white spots, but he's got a lot of scratches, you can tell at the right angle. See, so kind of like right there. Yeah, but that is a solid PSA 7. PSA 8, Clefairy. So this one's got a lot of scratches too. Um, I bet the back looks really nice. Yeah, the back does look really good, except for the top. There's, looks like a few white spots, two bigger ones right there, but that's it. Ooh, PSA 5, base set to Chansey. So why would this one get a PSA 5? I bet you there's a bin somewhere on here. Let's see. A bin that I, or a crease or something that I didn't catch when I submitted it the first time. I may have been going too quickly and didn't really notice. So where is the bin? I would like to find it for y'all on camera. But... I'm not seeing it. Where could it be? Hmm. Let's check the front again. Hmm, no, that's a scratch on the or a smudge on the case. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Cause 
Because obviously the it didn't get a five because of white spots. I mean, that's probably a seven uh, in terms of white spots. What's going on with this one though? Hmm. I'd have to look at it closer because uh, right now I'm looking at it on the screen just like y'all are. I'm not looking at it in person. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there'd be a bend on it somewhere. The only thing I can, th this may actually be it. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. So if you look right here, where is it? Right here. See it right there? Pretty sure that's why it got a, f a five because of that bend right there. See it on the edge, yep, on the yellow there. Let's see if you can see it on the back. Probably not. Maybe. Yeah, not as well, but yeah, that would be, let me zoom back out, that would be why I got a five right there. I'm glad we could find it on camera to show you guys. Okay, so I remember sending these off. So I had some German, I had three of them, three German B drills, first edition. Uh, I don't know how I got them. I just found them in my collection and they all were very, very nice condition. Um, obviously this one got a nine, which would be mint. Um, it didn't get a 10 because of this white spot down here on the bottom right. But I remember there were the other two, I believe were really nice condition. So I'll be interested to see what they get. I mean, I don't speak German, but still, you know, base set, first edition, um, no matter the language. Okay, this is awesome. This one got a 10. Okay, so I'll I'll keep this one just because, you know, a Watsy PSA 10, first edition is a really cool card to get. And it's gonna be really rare because how many more of these things are out there ready to be graded? My guess is not very many. pretty nice I know a German guy that might actually want one we'll have to see and the, the last one got a 10 so that's really cool there's two got a pair of PSA 10 first edition B drills or as you can say Bibor probably butchering the accent on that I do not speak German but as you can see on the back, the white spots, there's absolutely no white spots. There's dust, but there's no white spots on the edges. Very nice cards. I will keep one of those, probably this one since it's the lower certification number. Now, I don't know why I graded these. I, the only reason I would grade this is if I thought it had a good chance at getting a 10 because it's not fourth print. It's just a regular base set Doug Trio. Not even first edition or Shadowless or anything uh, like that. So I'm confused. I don't know why I'd send this off if it has obvious whitening on the edges. So that would mean it, that would guarantee it wouldn't get a 10. So I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know why I graded that. And then another one, a drill. Why would I get this one graded? got white spots Ooh. yeah I don't know I guess I had a brain fart when I was submitting these I really don't know what to tell you hmm. and the last card for today's opening is ooh, finally a PSA 9 holographic base set Zapdos now I have a PSA 10 in, in uh, this base set Zapdos so I'm not going to keep this one um, but still, a really cool card. Let's see how it looks in the back. So it's got a white spot there on the top, and one here on the right, and the bottom left corner. And on the left, there's a couple white spots. So, hmm. how's the hollow look? Sorry if that noise is annoying for you, but I'm trying to get that dust off. But yeah, solid card right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite card of today's opening? I think you can see everything, but here I'll scroll. 
just in case. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.